This video demonstrates the office setting. In session two, reset and just uh, start inheriting. So inherit the table and inherit the office setting. First, select the office setting, which should already be selected, and go ahead and move it down the table and rotate it so and let's do that another way I'm selecting it and I'll just shift right select it and rotate it about the z-axis uh, 180 degrees so that's another way to do it without using the snaps so the snaps are off and just check that it's correctly Locate it. If not, maybe go back and snug it a little bit on the table so it's not off the table. Go ahead and inherit the chair. And then select the container for the office setting and add it to the selected container. So I'm going to add that to the chair. To verify that, use the Scene Explorer and you can see that the chair now contains the office setting. Go ahead and close that chair, which is something that the tutorial does not do. And we'll call this office chair. Once it's closed, it makes it easier to copy. So with that selected, just press the move, shift move a certain distance here, and then use three copies. And they should show up in the top level of the scene explorer. In other words, they should not go inside chair. Then go ahead and move your chairs as you want. It doesn't matter which order you do it in. And it, it should be pretty easy to select the chairs. And I just use that little rectangle to move in the X and Y direction in the top view. This might be a good time to use your snaps. And let's say I wanted to do a 90 degree angle snap. Then change the rotation and just see it very quickly you can see how far it's moved. Now before we get this done we might want to update each chair so select each chair don't right click just select each chair and update. Select the next chair and update and make sure that the settings are on for each one and this will make sure that the office setting is display. I think I'm going to go back and change that angle snap to uh, 15 again because I think it's too fast when you use it rotate and that should give me exactly what I want. I want 180 degrees and here I want just a little bit 90 degrees and here I want 180 degrees and then go back to moving making sure this your office pads are on the table for each chair and if they're not you can edit a chair container. I did not make these instances. I made them copies when I used the shift move command. But if you make them instances, then if you move the setting right re relative to the chair for one of them, it will move them for all of them. So you have to compare that. Go ahead and save that as. My conference room 
and that um, let's go ahead and take the chairs and make them part of the table now that they're part of the table we can go ahead and close that table select the table and go ahead and close it and you could leave my conference room table be fine and then go ahead and use the array command um, go ahead and use your two meters and two and 2d and go ahead and use two meters here and that should be a total of four If you click here, it should update. Click OK. Maybe you didn't use quite enough spacing, but you can select and then Control Select and move those a little farther away. Notice they're missing the chairs and missing the. So now I'm going to select these two, move them a little farther away, and then one by one right click and update select and update and the chairs and the pads will appear once they all appear and it looks good Save it again, and you're done.